Hello and welcome to a Japan exclusive episode of the Cowboy for Game Gear yeah podcast, not featuring Jake because he didn't come. <laughs> I'm gonna have a picture of Jake will have come up there. And if I could find a good one, hopefully it'll look good. Uh, but I am your host today, Ben, and today I am joined by Tom. Hello. And Bragg. Hello. So, I guess uh, none of us have, have played Yu-Gi-Oh! this week, so uh, tell us about your holiday in Japan so far, Bragg. I mean, I've played Yu-Gi-Oh! to the point of opening Master Duel to buy my packs. Oh, yeah. But, I forgot yeah, that we, we, we yeah. hard, me and Tom hard grinded Master Duel. But, anyway, tell us um, about your trip. How's your trip been? It's full Pokemon all the time, and... I'm pretty burnt out now, so I'm kind of glad to be back here talking Yu-Gi-Oh! Even going and looking at the Rush Duel stuff, getting back to something different was kind of nice. Uh, Pokemon Worlds, great atmosphere. Uh, the, the, the second day of Worlds was, like, that did improve it. Like, I was ready to come in and go, Pokemon's uh, nailed Yu-Gi-Oh! But all in all, and also their side events completely sucked. You couldn't get into them. Uh, oh, it was, really? They switched to online registration, oh, and I don't know okay. what was going on, yep. but... No one could get in. Like you can go. Oh, uh, your table. You're going to be tournament 250. We're currently on ta- like tournament 72. Okay. What gives? Yeah, good, awesome. I think they found a couple ways around it, but by then I'd given up and I was grinding for a uh, shiny far fetched. So, eh, uh, well, that all- didn't go great for you, did it? No, no. So many checks. Uh, weird thing though is uh, Mew won their worlds, um, and that has been a popular deck and a popular. Oh, who, oh, who, who I was going to say because I don't know. I was going to ask what one Pokemon yeah, world. Yeah, uh, Mew V Max won Pokemon Azul? worlds. Hmm? As all? Oh God, oh. no, no. It was um, oh, was it a Japanese player? Yeah, and then they beat the Europe. Yeah, it was Japan versus Europe. Yeah, I'm pretty sure in the finals. Damn, I can't say I lost round one. OCIC to the world's winner. Uh <laughs> Uh, and it was, it's just kind of funny that yeah that deck's prominent and just without side decks it, you can't really take it down and you've got to commit main deck space to taking a deck down and I don't think a lot of TCG players really got their head around it so if I do approach the TCG I'm going to start thinking about oh what techs can you have and you should keep in your decks because I think a lot of them would have gone oh we're going to cut Drapion going in because I'm not expecting to see it and then lo and behold it wins yeah, like why would you not expect to see Mew Mew's like the most Lost box looked real good going into this. <laughs> yeah, but it's also like the most budget deck that's good that's possible in that game is not is it not? Yeah, you can uh, just buy three of those new starter decks. You got to spend twenty bucks more on singles. Oh. Yeah, so yeah, like one of the cheapest, easy, successful decks won worlds, and probably on the back of uh, some people underestimating it, which they shouldn't have. Like you which... literally just have to play one card, and auto wins your matchup. Yeah, close to auto wins your matchup. Yeah, or two copies of that one card. Yeah. And then, yeah, look, it's 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 interesting seeing their approach to the meta game and stuff. I'm sure there's stuff I'm missing. I am probably simplifying it, but at the same time, uh, I'm a bit skeptical on some people's approach to their game, which okay. I've got from Yu-Gi-Oh. Of just it's full batshit all the time. You've got to think of like how it's developing while they're just yeah. I don't know. It was weird. It was weird. I play my four Lugia. I play my three Lugia. A V Star or V Max or whatever one it is, G Star, yeah. GX, GX Mega, uh, and then I just put the rest of the cards in my deck, and hopefully that works. They're so worried about bricking in their game when they have Ultra Ball, which is discard any two cards to search for a Pokemon. Oh, and discard your hand draw. Who seven. cares? Yeah. yeah. Then you can also. Who cares turn. about bricks? Who cares? Like, oh, this card sucks in this matchup. Ah, oh, well, uh, I'm dis- running. Discard it. Yeah, I've got so many discard yeah. engines in this, like, in this format. Like, hey, Bragg, but they'll still play Battle VIP Pass, and if they don't draw turn one, yeah, that's okay. it, right? It's like if you have room for VIP Pass, you have room to, like, you have room for a five cards slots to counter the main meta decks. Yeah, but no, here we are. Yeah. Uh, and shout out to VGC being hack checked. Oh, uh, yes. <laughs> uh, this Pokemon company decided to check for hackers at this event and uh, DQ'd a bunch of VGC players, which is very funny. Very, very funny. It is it? Does it come off in if you walked into a Konami event with counterfeit cards? Pretty much, yeah. Yeah, and I know there's different approaches for some or people. Or if you, like, walked into Master Duel with a broad account. There, there's... Uh, yeah, that, that's probably the closest. But yeah. there's... Master Duel, yeah... Du- I'd say Duel Links. Yeah. Walking the Duel Links to the board account because that one is much more of a of a pay to win mentality and a lot more of a grind. Yeah, that's, that's comparable to VGC. So yeah, let's say it's Duel Links with a broad account. 
Well, mm. I'm fairly sure they just give you and then, rewards. And then they started to get... They acted indignant, but it's like, come on. You know. You know, you, if you have fakes, you, you're running that risk. I come bought on. my Pokemon from a reputable seller. I'm sorry. <laughs> I you, traded... You still bought your Pokemon. It, I traded a friend. He said, it was, he said they were legal, I swear. Yeah, my, my uh, perfect IV uh, egg bread shiny Dragonite... Uh, on My the last Pokemon me. note, uh, I, I mean, I could wait till a, a Pokemon podcast with Blake. That probably won't happen. But it, saying I didn't, I didn't play Arceus. I shouldn't be punished. Like said, so the Legends of Arceus. You should play it. It was a great Pokemon game from January. Yeah. Go back and get it. If they're sitting here in this format, going, I love Pokemon, and not playing Legends of Arceus, screw you. You don't. You deserve to not win worlds. No, no, I, uh, I didn't want to play it because it just wasn't in the true spirit of Pokemon. Yeah, that my game's long, man. Like I, I Did still haven't it? caught the Landorus. Now I'm like three quarters of the way through, and I. Just oh no! Stopped. I mean, I mean, just the 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 main game. You're not, you not. Oh, there's no way you can. I haven't caught Arceus yet because oh. I can't be fucked. Um, but. no, I was more getting it like the guy who got DQ'd was oh. like, oh yeah, no, no that's. I thought he was dunking on no. Arceus. I'm like, ready to he fight. Had, he had the same reasoning of like, oh yeah, no, I I just didn't get have time to get the Landorus. Like, okay, buddy. Just get it from Pogo. The yeah. other dude, the other guy was like, I forgot my copy of Sword, so I couldn't get no Shifu. Like, I was sitting in here with a, my boat, my Yu Gi Oh deck and my Pokemon deck, ready for if a locals comes up or whatever. You can bring a copy of Sword and Shield. Yes. But. It's a cartridge about this small. You said Jewel Links, and a paid Jewel Links account would be the way to go. Yeah. I am now concerned about Jewel Links Rush Jewels because <laughs> that's going to be gacha as hell. Oh, yeah. I have a gacha addiction, so I will be fine. I will not be playing it. Really? I just bought... I've, we've got real... Yeah, we'll play real Rush Jewels now. <laughs> yeah, like, we just all have real Rush Jewels decks. How about your week? Uh, well, we'll go to Tom. We'll go to Tom first. Um, so, I basically did the same week as Ben with just a minor, I guess, detailed difference of I went to Pokemon on Saturday. Yes. So, Tom um, also went to Pokemon Worlds. Pokemon Worlds was great. I caught up with a bunch of people that I haven't seen in a while. Uh, the store was amazing. Mm. Uh, well, the, <laughs> apparently it was amazing was... when you got there. Yeah, because we didn't mention the fact that uh, there was an eight-hour wait to get in the Pokemon store on the first day. Because you have to get your badges. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. For the people that can, comp- I won the lottery and was able to get in at one o'clock on Walk Wednesday. Right yeah, it was. I mean, yeah, it was. That was like a pretty good experience. But on that waiting thing, so they for one point stopped controlling the crowd. And there's one point where I'm like, oh, if people went insane here, this could be a bit of crowd crush. And I don't normally get myself in this situation, and I am feeling very uncomfortable. Whoever came in with uh, Blake and Lewis and I, they uh, he shot through. He was like, nah, out of here, gave his bag to someone and walked left. I'm like, oh, that's weird. And then just more and more people came in. I'm like, oh, <laughs> yeah, this is getting bad. <laughs> so I went back to the entrance and went, I'm waiting here for an hour. Like, I'll, I'll, just, I'll just figure out a way. And they got the line together eventually. But yeah, so how long did you have to wait? Um, about a minute. Oh, sick. Cool. Uh, and then when we got in at about 10, 30, 11 ish on the Saturday, it was pretty chill. Nothing, nothing really went on. Um, there wasn't any crushing. They, they were actually taking the wristbands this time instead of just if you don't have it on your wrist, you know. Yeah. Because I knew for a fact that there were a couple of people that had really slender wrists that were just going yunk. <laughs> <laughs> to set a wide band and out. Yeah, and they would just go to the store, buy the one, 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 one per person stuff over and over and over again. Ah, uh, yeah, I was seeing a few of those deck boxes that are retailing quite high. Because there were a couple of people online that I've yeah, seen yeah. have um, had like seven, eight, nine, ten of them for sale, and I'm like, how do gotcha. you have so many when they're one per person? Yeah. Um, Wolds was cool, the atmosphere was cool, the setup was cool. Unite was fun. Yeah, oh, bro, the Unite crowd was sick. Was like, it just a- they were just popping off. Yeah... It, I, I really should get into watching it more just as a I, I, I'm too stupid to get my head around it every time I go back to play that game I just get paired with bots and I'm like oh I'm out this yeah. game's too easy when you're paired against bots yeah um, apart from that uh, me and Ben also went to Yokohama on the Friday yep we did a bit of shopping yep uh, um, he bought a Game Boy yeah I bought a Game Boy um, yeah we did like a, that they ended up being huge oh so. man we almost didn't get make, home, make it home yeah we almost didn't make it home but, like, we went to, like, yeah, we almost didn't make it home. Like? Like, what, we almost missed, missed the last train. Oh, wow. Yeah. Jeez, that takes a lot here. So, like, we got very lost at Yokohama Station. 
Yeah, I can see that. Because we needed to get to Shin Yokohama, and it was like, take the blue line. Yeah, yeah. The blue line yep. isn't in Yokohama Station. No, it's, it's in it's, a station two it, minutes down the road. Yeah, which is that's where we're at. And there's no signs in Yokohama Station to say blue line is this way. So we were in there like, uh oh. Yeah. Uh oh. With our and phones dying. I'm like, so my uh, Suiki card's on my phone, but I had my JR pass. Oh. And my JR pass wasn't being accepted at Yokohama Station. But. It gets accept- got accepted literally everywhere else except the entry gate at Yokohama Station. That's weird the because it's a JR. It worked the morning. Yeah. It didn't work in the afternoon. Hmm. Um, so I was in full freakout mode at this point. Yep. Um, but we ended up making it through fine. Uh, eventually, we just went to the green line, which is how we normally run, despite the fact that my phone said there wasn't going to be another green train. Uh, we just waited there and a green train showed up and we're like, cool, whoop, whoop. let's just hop on this and we got through. Um, yeah, that was that part of the trip. Uh, how, how have you been going on Master Duel? Uh, it's been interesting. So I got I don't actually have my Steam account on me, and I can't log into it, unfortunately, due to my authenticator being on my other phone in Australia. Uh-huh. Yes. Uh, so I've had to start afresh. Sword and Shield uh, moment. <laughs> yeah. Um, I haven't spent any money, and I've got Cash Tira built. How's your Cash Tira garbage adventure been going? Uh, it's been fun. Yes. Well, it's been very bricky. We'll talk more about what Cash Tier is going to be in the news section. Um, fuck, it's kind of so shit. Yeah. Like, I haven't pulled them yet either. Like, I pulled a lot of everything around them and I just had to dust. Yeah, like, I, I didn't pull a single Fenrir or Unicorn. Yeah, either. Right. And it's, I'm going to have to dust, but. Um, I guess we'll get into my week in Yu Gi Oh! So, I played a lot of Master Duel whilst here, just generally in and around town. Uh, while I was like on the train, I was like master all time. While I was back here, I was master all time. While we stopped for something, I was like master all time. It was breakfast. We stopped for breakfast. Yeah. I ordered first, so when I finished eating my food, I was like time to play master all. Um, I f- fifty packs. I got all of Cashier. So yeah, I was pretty lucky. I didn't have to use any of my gems to craft anything. I was just yeah, yep in and out. Well, apart from the rank sevens that I'd already pre-crafted, yeah. so I just yeah bought fifty packs. Got everything I needed. Oh, I didn't think of that. Is Big Eye Ultra? Uh, Big Eye's a super. super. Oh, but I oh, think most super. of the extra is super. Yeah, sweet. So you good you good on that front. Um, I guess on a tr- outside trip phase, a focus. Uh, yeah, we went to Yokohama on Friday this week. I uh, bought an old Game Boy. Uh, picked went up to the Gundam Factory. Did that's I was going to get to okay. that. I was going to get to that. Spoilers. Uh, picked up all of the Pokemon games that we needed. Um, although I think I mentioned that last week because I pre-picked up the Pokemon games expecting to get a Game Boy. Got my Game Boy. Refuse to pay more than I refuse to pay Akihabara prices. Akihabara yeah. prices now are fucked. Um, basically, now that all the tourists are here, the prices of everything has doubled to tripled. So if you hop on a train and head about an hour one way or an hour another way, you can find the stuff for the prices that they used to be. So I was quite happy on that front. Uh, then we went to Gundam Base. Um, so we each bought the big ass Gundam. Yep. We went and saw the big Gundam as it turned on, and we we got there like perfect times. Yeah. So that whole day was a huge day where we went down lunchtime, met up with Blake and uh, Lewis as they got into town, went out to the hobby off that was like half hour west of Yokohama, come back to Yokohama, had lunch, then went to Pokemon Worlds, saw the line was huge, and I immediately noped out, and then Tom after I went to the bathroom was like I'm also noping out let's go to the the Gundam um yeah went to the Gundam right at sunset couldn't have chosen a better time to go um so when it did its big start up was when the sun had just set so we got to watch the whole shebang light show um and then we went for just a a nice little walk back down as as we went up the harbour because Tom was meeting up with someone to buy the Pokemon Worlds bag who he thought uh, Ben was me yeah he thought uh, because I'm in Tom's profile picture on Facebook (laughs) <laughs> so he thought I was Tom Holland and I was like no it's this man uh, I'm not that man yeah um, so yeah that was fun the walk up the, the beach or the walk up the, the coastline was really nice yeah I really like I really like it um, there yeah there was, we also found like a pop up Pokemon celebration oh so yep, yep there was like a pop up with the giant store. inflatable Pikachu there was a giant oh, inflatable yep. Pikachu a bunch of inflatable Mons um, they had like the buses that were fully painted in Pokemon and they had a giant LED Pokeball that, yep. like, every 30 seconds changed to a different Pokeball. Oh, cool. Yeah, it was pretty sick. And then, like, when we, we got up, met up with the guy with the bag, and then turned around, you could see it, and then it started rotating, which was pretty cool. 
Um, and the Ferris wheel had Pikachu on it. Yeah, the Fer- yeah, there's the- a big Ferris wheel. Yeah, had, like lights changing on it constantly. It's like Pikachu's and and so on. Some um, of those animations are pretty funny as well. They've put, put a lot of thought into it. I'm they like, have. Yeah, I, I don't think we're ever going to see that type of stuff again. London wasn't like that. I doubt Honolulu will, will be. Oh, so Honolulu's was, not going to be like that at yeah, all. It was good to see. It was good to see this. Honolulu is going to be expensive, and it's going to be probably not the best because there's not that much in Honolulu. <laughs> no. There's a beach. Yes. There's like beach uh, and bar. I mean, it, but even the bar's expensive. Yes. You can't make a two to three week trip out of Pokemon World Hol- Honolulu. Yeah, there's no, there's no th- uh, three hundred yen whiskeys over there. <laughs> no, not at all. Um, oh. We're gonna go to a two hundred fifty yen whiskey place after this. Um, so that's, I guess, the story of my week in Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, yeah, no, it's gonna be Master Duel. Grinded the hell out of Master Duel. Um, built cash, got to I think I'm in Diamond yep. at the moment. Um, I finished the battle pass though, so I don't really have any incentive to keep playing because cash kind of sucks. Yeah. Um, which will bring us to the news. So, uh, yeah, Cash Tira released. Or Not did it? <laughs> all of Cash Tira released. Um, rather interestingly, they picked and choose what they kept out. Uh, it looked as though they kept out just the new, like the second wave of Cash Tira cards. Yeah. No, uh, they put Rise Heart in, but not a Rise Heart. Yep. So they literally left out a Rise Heart and uh, Theosis, the Field Spell, and a Big Bang, and the other sevens. So like the Scareclaw and oh, the yeah. two elements. So they left. They got half most of like that whole first wave, plus a little little bit more on top, and then the whole second wave. I tell you what, Rise Heart. Probably should have been an earlier set in the TCG, to be honest. It kind of made sense thematically, and then you get the extra stuff later. Yeah, like, but no. Yeah, I guess they had they had Rhino there, but eh, what yeah. do you do? Here we are. So yeah, they decided to piece it out, despite the fact that they gave to Elements all of their support plus the Fairy support early. Yeah, they were like, "Here's everything." Also, by the way, we already gave you those fairies, so off you go. The crap Dark Sky Strikers in there too. Yep, they also gave them that really oh, early. Yeah, and Chaos really, Angel. really early. Yeah, and Chaos Angel got printed really early. So, like, I was quite surprised. Also, I didn't mention, we went to uh, the G1 today and Naito won, so I was happy. Yeah. Well, yeah. my shirt. The guy next to me cried when Naito won. I was, I was like, you know what? That's not surprising. Um, I also went to the baseball. That was cool. Yeah, continue. Literally cool. Would say, what was the temperature in the dome? Uh, like quite nice. So good. Like it's fine. Cause that's what I was concerned about. Like, I, I, there was no Tokyo Dome games I could go to. Um, no. Tokyo was, Dome's fully aircon. Yeah, so like I, I couldn't have made it work. But knowing that, I'm like, oh, oh, probably should have found a way to make it work. But no. Of course, I had like the only Americans I had seen in the entire venue were next to me, and I was like, like they were nice guys. Chairs in Tokyo Dome aren't the widest. Like, they are designed for Japanese people. Yep. And, like, the guy next to me was, like, quite... He was... I think they were soldiers. So, like, he was quite well built. Yeah. And I was just, like, the whole time. <laughs> uh, nice guys, it was, it was packed as well, yeah? Yeah, it was, like, a sold-out crowd. God. Yeah, it was, like, uh, Tokyo versus Yokohama, so... Yeah, it's... Packed-out it. crowd. I love it. If, like, if you ever come to Japan, even if you don't like baseball, but you have, like, some interest in sports, go. Like, it was great. They Like, the whole crowd sung the entire time. Yeah. <laughs> it was fantastic. They had, like, songs for every and single player. I love it. Where it's just like, oh, this plays out. All right, here we go. We've yeah. got this. I'm like, ah, oh, in. Sakamoto at the uh, the bottom of the eighth hit a home run, for, hit a two-run home run, and uh, won the game. And it was because I was singing the Sakamoto song. <laughs> yeah, that's it. I had, it was his fourth at bat, and I learnt the song by that point. <laughs> Ultra athletes, more when. Yes, when when's that UA support? Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, but yeah, continuing on, uh, mastered all that pack. Look, I'm I'm still pretty salty at how well they treat to elements in that game. Mm. Um, so the fact that the one deck that I enjoyed playing through that format slash time just isn't there is like isn't there at once. I'm a little on the annoyed side of that. What's annoying is when Tear is gonna when Tear gets hit in the next like I mean two weeks if it gets hit there's gonna there's it's gonna be gonna another th- there'll be another chip at um, cash as well they're gonna be hit oh, in yeah. sync 
That would be like, oh yeah, uh, we limited uh, haveness, uh, but also we br- we're bringing out rise heart at one and field spell at one. And again, birth and, is going. Uh, oh wait, does the new set, new pack come out in two weeks? No, it's okay. it's tenth of next month, but. But yeah, we've got a list. Of the, yeah, there's a list between now and then. Then what do they, then yeah. they do with the next pack as well? Yeah, yeah. It's kind of disappointing to see that it's like, oh, well, if you're going to release this much of it, you could have just gone insane and left Fender at three. That also would have made them a lot more money. So kind of weird. Mm. Well, I guess the the logic is that they only ban SRs. Yeah. So they have to pre-ban URs. Yeah. Because they have to give you a refund if they ban uh, yeah, what yeah. you've crafted. True, 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 true. So yeah, they pre they pre-ban URs. Yeah. And then only ban SRs. Yeah. It's the Konami way. Don't let you get the refund. Um, but yeah, outside of that news, we have pa- the new pack support for, or uh, well, the new support got announced for Fire Kings. So the last of the Fire King cards. I'm still not 100% sure on whether or not we covered this on last week's podcast, but going to cover it anyway. I think this is the last of the cards in the structure. Yeah, actually, yep, 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 yep. So we got uh, the new one of the uh, Fire King Avatar. Um, which was like the main one that you yeah avatar yeah because they're all the avatars are the the supporter ones but yeah. this is a completely new avatar that's oh, so a new one yeah it yeah. just looks very similar to the old um, one yeah it's not baronix is like it fire no. kings from like way back in the day yeah, yeah. yeah, they, yeah. Got okay. they got a new structure oh yeah. hell yeah and so they've gotten another new avatar because they got a retrain of one of the old avatars from the previous yeah. wave we've definitely yeah. talked about but yeah so this is a completely so new one this one's actually quite interesting like it's a it's a free special from hand if one's popped uh, then it also negates the activation and destroys another fire monster on the field on a spell or trap card or effect. So, which, like, I'm not entirely sure. Like the timing of the negates weird, isn't it? Yeah, it's a when. Yeah, it's a when you can. Yeah, so it's definitely going to be weird. But also just the fact that giving fire kings a negate is yeah. that can summon from hand is like, hey, thank God. Like, I think it has to be. Chain link two negation for it to pop for it to trigger your fire king cards. Yeah. So you can't like go chain if it's chain one chain two and you negate chain two, you can't then trigger your fire kings on the new chain. I believe. Mm. I think that's the way that this is going to work timing wise. And but yeah, it was like it's definitely something that they needed. Oh, I nothing really jumped out at me about that deck out of all the archetypes that I've seen, I've read this week. I was like, oh, I am. I really like Fire Kings on day Fire, Fire Kings was sick. Yeah. I like Fire King Cosmo. <laughs> Fire King Cosmo was fun. Yeah. And like these cards with, like, they're designed to intentionally play around mixing it with stuff like Cosmo because they're all like, give a fire or tr- destroy a fire. Um, but they gave it that restriction, but it's still cute. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, I mean, it, this is something that they would need, but it doesn't jump out to me as being broken, which. They also gave them a board wipe, so a pop monsters you control and your control your opponent controls equal amount. Yep. Uh, but it then also banishes it from grave to protect. Yep. Um, and then they gave them a trap that is a free special. Um, of if a you fire. send that with, um, if you get a, a sneaky little uh, droplets in there. Yep. Can you then save your own monsters being destroyed? But then that wouldn't destroy the opponent's monsters because your monsters it, would be protected. It's destroy them. Yep. So it destroys simultaneously, I believe. Uh, so that could uh, work. Um, it's stupid though. <laughs> Just play Dark Hole. Yeah. Rush to a moment. Um, and yeah, they gave them a trap, which is a free special. Uh, and then also banishes from grave. Uh, your opponent can't activate effects. Yeah, so you banish it from grave to protect all your activations. This this will give out. Will give the shitty trap card a graveyard effect. Is becoming way too common for every archetype. Yeah, it's tidying effect. Yeah. So they just give every every deck a tidying now. Yeah. They have to give it a normal trap card that has two effects and one from grave. The Dolce got it. Dragon Maids have it. Pearly. Now here we are. Pearly, Pearly has it as well. But yeah. Centurions. We're going to get to Centurions because that is the <laughs> next bit of news that we have. Hopefully it's the next bit of news that I had queued up. It's not. Let's bring it up. Okay. And then we have, uh, yeah. The new deck, new cards from Valiant. Well, these are going to be in our Valiant Smashers set. I and believe. when when was the release for Valiant? Uh, that is another one of the bits news. So I guess sorry, we'll start sorry. there. Yeah, we'll start at Valiant Smashers announcement for the TCG. Um, it's pack art work got released, and it's going to be releasing on the seventeenth of November. Oh, it's ages so, away. Wait, and that's really oh my god. Do we have any sets between them? Yeah, we have main sets. This is a, oh, a six, one of the wait, sixty cards. Do we have, do we have the, sets. Um, the 
the rarity set between that? Uh, yeah, the week before. Oh, I believe. Why is a deck build pack coming out in November? They bring them forward. I think it's two every two yeah, yeah. every year, and now it's just fallen into November. Because it was January, and then it was December, and now it's. We're back. Prank Kids came out in November. Yeah, yeah. we go. I'm so used to the deck builds. Like I've been trained for. Oh, January's deck builds now. Yeah. Yeah. That, that, we're finally we're, we're back there. We brought it back. We're back there finally. Um. But yeah, this will have uh, mementos. It will have your uh, centurions. Centurions, as well as uh, the glass instrument set. Which have they announced what those are yet? The glass instruments. I mean, the the set comes out next week over here. Uh, the better hope there's uh, floating around. <laughs> Look, we would have discussed it already, or I may have Jay, made Jake not talk about it. So, uh, yeah, that's that's what's going to be included in the no Centurions. Seventeenth of November is the release for it. But yeah, we have the announcement of Centurions. So, oh, cool. uh, they do have some pretty decent art. There's like, yeah, mechas and yeah, so on. mecha women. Mechas are the big oh, ones. Oh, Sky Striker too. Uh, yeah, it's yeah, it's just Sky Striker is effectively in these in these arts. Um, so. You've got two main deck monsters, which are your level fours, and then you've got a level eight, which is the mecha. Yeah. Uh, your level fours, I'm assuming, are going to be a normal or special summon effect. Um, first one is on normal or special, add a centurion card from deck to hand. Mm. Uh, then does it lock you? You can't special summon Primera for the rest of the turn. Yeah, so you can't summon itself if you use the effect. Ah, uh, it's, that's its own name. Okay. Yeah. Um, your level five or higher centurions can't be destroyed by a card effect. What well, oh, this card is treated as a continuous trap. Yep. Interesting. Um, during a main phase when this card is treated as a continuous trap you can special summon it mm. interesting so it flips itself back and forth and I'm assuming the spell is going to put it into the back row um, you've got your other main deck monster which is uh, she's a tuner phase. as well oh, she's, yeah because it's got a synchro um, so during your main phase you can place this card you control and one centurion's monster from your hand or deck into your face up spell trap zone as a continuous trap but you cannot special summon centurion itself for the rest of the turn mm. during your main phase while this card is treated as a continuous trap you can special summon it and you increase its level by four, so it becomes a level eight. Good because the synchro oh, is so yeah, twelve. Yeah, yeah. Um, so you can't go into the synchro plays immediately because it can't special itself. So it uses its own effect to place itself and the other one in the scales. Yeah, or you have to use another eight. Okay. If only there was another eight. Yeah. So then the yeah, there's the other eight, which is uh, Century and Emmet. Uh, during your opponent's turn, if this card is in your hand or graveyard quick effect, you target Centurion you control, place it in the spell trap zone, and then special summon this card. Uh, during your main phase, this card is treated. During your main phase, if this card is treated as a continuous trap, special summon it. Yeah. So they all seemingly place themselves in the back row and bring themselves That's forward. That's kind of cool. Um, will the does, it, do you reckon, does the synchro place them from the back row, like from grave? Because that'd be uh, sick. If this yeah. card is special summoned, draw one card, then destroy one face up monster your opponent controls. Um, your monsters with 2,000 or less can't be destroyed. Uh, during the end phase, you can place one non synchro centurion from hand or graveyard into the field spell zone. Okay, cool. Oh, into the back row. Yeah. Nice. That, that makes sense. So you, you synchro off your cards, then you put them back in the back row, bring them out for the next turn, you keep going, and you yeah. slowly will snowball. Like, this deck seems cool, but I think it looks very slow. Yeah, so you've got to combine the quick, the continue, no, the field spell coming yeah. up. Yep. Um, is a it's a discard outlet as well. So okay. I think some builds you find a uh, you find a level eight like a Horus or something to pitch. Yep. And then you you throw that in with your sink, so you can do okay. that sink. And okay. then there's a yeah. Yeah. So your your field spell is uh, can't be destroyed by card effects while you control the monster. Uh, during your main phase, this card was activated this turn. You can place uh, you can send one card from your hand or deck uh, just to the graveyard. Place one centurion from deck. Yeah. Um, and then if a monster is special summoned, you can immediately this effect resolves synchro summon. Yeah. Makes sense. Um, and then the last of the spells, we do have a trap here, but I'm assuming it's going to be trap. Um, you can place one centurion monster from your hand or graveyard face up field spell, uh, face up zone. Um, if a centurion synchro monster is special summoned to the field by this is in your graveyard, banish it, target one monster in your graveyard, place it in the zone. Okay. So they all start to get you back the resources slowly yeah. and you snowball. So it's like a grindy deck? Yeah, yeah, but there's also not a hard one to turn, and you can kind of get oh, to a hard ten. Ones? Oh, you can't special summon more than one. Yeah, you can't. You can't, okay. yeah. you but can't you can, special it once you activate the effect. Yeah. yeah, but you can if you find other ways to spit them out. Yeah, like, I thought it was you just can't special summon them the turn you activate the effect. Yeah, yeah. Um, so like even if you find another way. Yeah, so if you forgo the plus, you can just okay. go. What? Okay. Okay. 
So the like the plus gets you into the game, or you can just spit out a board. And then yeah. the trap, I oh, forget the trap does something in the bin. It's it's another one of those ones. You better believe it. Uh, you can target. <laughs> so it's regular effect. You can target one face up monster. You're on the field, banish it, and if you do special summon it to its owner's field during the next standby phase, um, then you can banish this card from your graveyard. Target a synchro, special summon it. Uh, synchro in your graveyard, special it. It loses 1500 attack. How much attack does it have? 3k? 3k, and then it puts it back down it's to. It's a 3-5. Yeah, 3-5, so it puts it to 2k, so then it protects itself, because then it has oh, that effect. Oh, that's cute. I th so it's not the others. Yeah. So but Very yeah. interesting. Yeah, it's a cool thing, and that's only the first five cards of the deck build stuff. And obviously, if it's going to be anything like Rescue Ace and Pearly. They do have a counter trap as well. It's a oh. spell trap or monster effect negation. Uh, send one face up monster card from Spell Trap Zone to the graveyard, negate the activation, destroy the card. Yeah. Negate the activation, rather interesting. Konami's moving back to negating activation on everything so yeah. that you, you can play around with the, with the activations, negating cards. Fucking continuous trap. Uh, that, that's the counter trap thing, isn't it? Negating the activation usually? Like Normally. that's a hallmark? Yeah. Normally. Yeah, I'm pretty pumped for this. Like, early days, but they look cool enough and they, yeah. they're going to work with the horror stuff. And whatever else. I I do have an affinity for fours, eights, and twelve of that line. Yeah. So that synchro line, there's always like good things in there, and then you can sneak out a bloody baron in there too. We need more good sneaky nines synchros. Like there are there are good nine synchros, but they all require three material. Yeah. We need just a good two nine synchro. Where's my nine synchro Konami? Scrap twin dragon was always the best. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then last bit of news we have the announcement of the new Memento card or the last Memento card I guess that's going to be coming in here um, so it's pretty decent uh, with this card is normal special summon discard a Memento card then target a spell trap side of your opponent controls pop it during the main phase you can destroy a Memento you control spec another one from deck so yeah, yeah just a nice simple normal summon ditch one pop pop another one summon from deck so yeah so I mean that's place. two alright that's two or right archetypes. I wonder what the glass insurance is. It uh, does discard for cost, and it does destroy... Oh, it does not destroy for cost, but it does discard for cost, so it does eat a negation. It's... You go and neg one, but yeah. it's okay. You have a trap card that uh, vanishes from grave. Probably. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that is the last of the... Qu oh, last of the, uh, the bits of news. God, so November's we'll going to be crazy for that. I'm still trying to figure out where I'm getting a case for Rarity Collection from. Nikita's not too bad of a price. What are they at? Uh, I think it's 2-2. Two, two. Uh, yeah, it's big. <laughs> oh um, my god. Yeah. It's it's pretty rough there. Oh yeah, because they're only doing US print, right? Yeah. Uh, when in October are we getting Overlord again? Uh, Age of Overlord, I believe, is October. Yeah, like is it, it's September. early. Yeah, okay, cool. So if that's early, then at least we can get through that. Are we Just... getting tins this year? Yep. Yeah. Tins oh, are, God, we're still I think with the tins. Not long after we get home. Yeah. Because I like tins well, are normally it's around the edge this time. of frame as well. Oh yeah. Right on the edge. Yeah, like, that's all right. And I was like, tins are normally around this time of year, right? Yeah. They're normally end of August, start of September. Although I think the last two years they've been like really delayed. Yeah. Like they were end of August. Uh, sorry, end of September. Yeah, I wonder what the delay is going to be like if they haven't leaked some of the stuff we don't know from the Mega Packs yet. Ah, I'm sure it'll be soon. Uh, but yeah. We're going to talk about leaks. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that then does bring us to the questions part of the podcast. Of course, there is a current question section in the uh, Discord down below. Head down there, jump over. There's some nice people in there. And uh, There's yeah. a general section as well. You can just There is a general section stuff. where I random... That's normally where I go to post my shit. Yeah. So pay attention to the general because that's the one place where I really pay attention. That's where I go to read. There's a few cats in there where I'm like, yeah, like I like getting the lay of the land off people. Okay. First question comes from uh, Jesse. Uh, would you play a card at three that said destroy one card on the field hard once per turn? So just a one card pop. Is it ultimate slayer? No, I believe the intention is from uh, Jake's point here. Uh, this card would be very good for Unchained. Oh, you can yeah, pop sure. your own <sighs> shit. It's a flex card that lets you pop your own cards. Just play Dark Hole. <laughs> you can play three of them. Yeah, I'm not the legendary Dark Hole. Oh my god. I still haven't found one of those yet, have you? No. Did you, so did you find Dark Hole in the end? No. No. Oh. Um, no, we end up not finding it. Well, if anyone has any rush or Dark Holes out there. Hit us up, I wonder please. if the man in the... No, I checked the, the cabinet. The man in the underground? 
Who made the underground with the legendary yeah, cabinet? Yeah, man in the underground did. Okay. The man in the dark hole. I'm gonna find that man with the legendary cabinet because I need. Turns out I need a legendary for my deck. I, uh, I also need monster. that um, fire barrier from him as well. Ah, uh, yeah. Well, I went back to Card Rush and they had okay. it in stock there, so I picked it up from Card Is Rush. Is fire barrier legendary? No, no, but it's, it's, a, it's, it's, a, it's a one it's on the ban list. Oh yeah. yeah. That and uh magical stone excavation is at one. Yeah, I pulled excavation. Yeah. Um so yeah, would you play this card? Depends on the deck that I'm in, and if I'm playing a deck that I could like if I'm playing Cosmo, does it, it this card also does not target. I'm so keen to get home and play Rush Jewels. <laughs> like Yeah. Okay, it's gonna be great. We got our dual discs, it's gonna be it's gonna be oh, it's a dual I, can't, disc. I can't get mine home. You can get it home. Just put it on your wrist. Yeah, just walk <laughs> in but Yes. It's my watch. <laughs> Let me check my life points. I'm sorry. The flight leaves in 7,300 life points. <laughs> so does the life point count a lot up? Is it? Is it? Yeah, we haven't properly um, opened it yet. So I've pulled mine out of the box. Um, you need to put batteries in it. Ah, yeah. Oh, okay, so it would have lights. And you also need you also need a screwdriver to do it. And we just don't have that. Sick. Um. I guess the next question comes from Six Side Six. Uh, who is your favorite South Park character? Butters. Yeah, it's Butters. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Worth. <laughs> it's not Worth. even close. Wow. Um, wait, who did Maybe you say? Maybe Randy. Oh yeah, Rand well, Randy uh, had a good uh, point there, and then they kind of he became like the main character basically. Yeah, he was the main character for a while. Yeah. Like, there's a good like few, where he had like random like side quests that were fine, but when the main plot started revolving around, like oh. This yeah, is kind of weird. Enough. I like, like, Randy's good. But Butters, they, they just put enough of him in there for... Yeah. It's a random question, 6 out 6 I'm assuming you've been watching the show. We'd have, I mean, we're due to watch some more South Park when we get home. God, there's so much to watch, too. But the new, we watched the new season when it came out. Did we? That's over. Yeah. I mean, even just... Yeah, whatever. Oh, Did we even get through I, King I, of I forgot. That, that was a Japanese toilet episode. That was fantastic. Where Rainy discovers Japanese toilets. Oh, yeah, Very yeah, suitable yeah, yeah. now that we're here in Japan and we're around Japanese toilets constantly, even though I have one at home. Look, um, those bidets come in clutch some days. Yeah. Gets a bit hot, gets a bit steamy over here. So you appreciate it. You get home, you wash your butthole, it's great. Needs to be done. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I, don't, I never adventure in your bathroom. My bathroom's fantastic. Got my <sighs> little bidet set up in my toilet. But I like the electric, like, I like just the, the button push. Push the button. Yeah, just the, the no wall. think, go, that. Push the button. That. It's just, their bathrooms are so much better than ours. And they play music, some of them, as well. Yeah, the I, at Pokemon Worlds, I went to the, like, there was one in the, the Pokemon Go community center. Oh, yeah. I, like, went Didn't in there you? before it opened, and, like, the lady was, like, shooing people away, and I was like, can I use the bathroom? And she was like, oh yeah, no, come, come straight through. So I got a nice, clean bathroom, toilet that played music. I was like, it's fantastic. Imagine if it was the uh, loading screen music. <laughs> <laughs> Sit down, it's just <laughs> music. <laughs> oh, um, the, towards the harbour where I was walking, they were playing like the Vermilion City music for a while. I'm like, this is sick. I'm like, it's good walking music. Oh yeah, sure. So why, I've got the, why not the bike path music? Well, because the bike path's all the way over there. Okay. I mean, I assume it's the bike path. There's a bridge across the bay. I imagine that's what it's meant to be. No idea. Didn't get on the SSN. They they couldn't get me. Yeah. Why didn't you hop on the SSN? Is there was there an SSN that took you around? No, they didn't leave the pool. It was it was only you just go on and do the side stuff and. Uh, oh, okay. But like every day, the t the the email come through saying no more admissions got through earlier and earlier. It was like eleven o'clock this morning that it came through. I'm like, doesn't it open at ten? <laughs> <laughs> sure, sure. Um, last question comes from Naya, and this Tom. This is directly asked for Tom, and oh. I'm also going to change this slightly. Uh, it's Here we uh, go. fuck, marry, kill, me, brag, or Jake. Oh Jesus. <laughs> hmm. I know what I want Tom to say. <laughs> Kill me, Tom. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I knew that that was what you were you doing. Kill me too, Tom. <laughs> kill me too. And you can fucking and, uh, marry bro, Jake. Bro, how about we just kill, kill everyone? Is that an option? And on that bombshell, Aww. we finish today's episode of the Cowboy Podcast. I would marry Tom. <laughs> I, at the Tokyo Dome. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, you can get married at the Tokyo Dome. Five stars. Trust me. Trust me. I'm, I, I'm five stars in the Tokyo Dome. Yeah. Trust me. <laughs> Trust 
Um, but yeah, that will wrap us up. Like, as always, uh, jump down in the Discord below if you want to leave a comment or question. Um, yeah, I would normally have something prepared as a question to ask, but uh, no. We will be back in the regular boring setting next week. Um, I shouldn't be tired at all. We fly through the map before. Um, but yeah, we'll be back in the, the regular boring location. Uh, Jake will be back to, to host the show. I hope I do a decent job in this And I will be gone. And Tom will be gone. Tom will be gone. Um, yeah. No idea. Bye. Bye.